the first vintage of Giulio Ferrari was made in was 1972. At that time, in Italy, everybody thought that Italian spumante had to be fresh. So nobody uh, was uh, really, nobody thought that uh, uh, spumante could age for a very long time. But at that time, my uncle, Mauro Ronelli, was the enologist at uh, Ferrari Winery, and he had a very different opinion. He knew that in Trentino, it was possible to make an outstanding reserva. And so he kept some bottles of this Chardonnay, of wines made with Chardonnay from this Maso Pianizza, hidden on the, in the cellar, and he, he kept it for a long aging. Mm. At that time, that was a strong bet not only because the people you know, was not yet prepared for a long aging sparkling wine in Italy, but also because uh, at that time the demand of Ferrari was much higher than the production. So imagine that we would close the sales of Ferrari at the end of the summer, even long before the Christmas season, because the, the production was much more than on the demand. So keeping some wine for long aging was a very strong bet it was, uh, it was uh, like taking away wine from the market, betting on, on the idea and the dream to create this outstanding reserve. Yeah. So he made this 